than ever. Press repeat forever, ripping smooth as leather season. Lemon pepper, gotta piece it together like I wrote it in the etch a sketch concentration breaks away. Welcome to another edition of Life and Other Stories and today we're going to be talking about how to incorporate women's wear into your look. Now for me, this journey started when I'd walk into any store, for example H&M or Zara, and you know, you go to your typical men's wear section and you try to buy a jacket, a pair of trousers, but when you're fashion forward and when you want to kind of push that boundary and be a little bit adventurous, the men's wear sections at most boutiques can often be very boring and just bland. I often make this joke for those of you that follow me on social media. I always say walking into the menswear section is like walking into a farm. Not every man wants to look like a farmer. We're not all, you know, very afraid of fashion. And while I do understand that menswear as a whole sticks to a traditional sphere as compared to women's wear, I think it's important for us as millennial men to kind of push that envelope and push the boundaries. And at the end of the day, it's clothes, have fun, you know, who cares if it's a women's wear top, if it's kids, like if it fits you, if it looks good, wear it. Why not, you know? Um, so today I'm going to be showing you five looks from my closet on how to style them, wear them, and just pull off a bomb ass look. So let's get started. So this is my first look, guys. It's an H&M polo neck and um, new look trousers, skinny jeans, and H&M shoes. Now obviously the shoes are men's wear, um, but the jeans are actually women's wear. Now I know most of you are thinking, oh they're tight, like I can tell they're women's wear. Actually you can't because you get a lot of skinny jeans for men, and for me being Asian and being quite small, like I can never find men's jeans that fit me in the right way that I see on all these really cool Tumblr pictures. And I thought that these were really cool and they fit my waist and they fit me from the sides. Like they look really cool, especially when I wear baggy hoodies and I just like that stick leg look. It's just very cool. Although right now I've been hitting the gym so that is not, uh, I am no longer giving you the stick leg moments. But I think it's pretty cool. So I'm going to pair this with a really cool and what I feel is like the, the icing on the cake, if you will. This gorgeous Zara jacket. Now that is just bomb, like I absolutely love it. And of course this jacket is women's wear, but how cool and just, it's just giving me all kinds of like club moments, like I just absolutely love it. I think the patchwork detailing is really cool and on trend. And I love these kind of elasticated waist, um, sorry not waist, I love these kind of elasticated bands at the cuff. I think they're really cool and they have a lot of detail. And you actually notice the emphasis on um, quality because the elastic has not frayed and it's not worn off. And I feel like sometimes with elasticated jackets, things tend to, the threads start to kind of unravel and it makes the entire outfit look cheap, whereas this is really cool. So this is look number one and I think it's pretty bomb. Concentration breaks away, it shakes away how lyrics so solid can be as delicate as a feather, heavenly serenade. Rehearse and trade stay so heated, my skin is ablaze. This be the taste I say when the flip. So this is look number two, guys. It's a just Cavalli jacket, a pink turtleneck that I bought in Australia. I can't really remember the brand, but I will put it down in the credits for you. And a pair of HM sorry, new look trousers. Uh, paired with my Adidas Ultra Boost. I absolutely love them. I wear them everywhere. And I think it's just really cute and it's a little bit casual, it's a little bit blinked out, or at least my version of casual. I mean, it's a gold blame jacket, but at the same time, it is so cool. Like, it's so difficult to find jackets, menswear jackets, that give you the same kind of versatility, I feel, without paying, like, a ginormous sum. And this look is just everything. It's a statement, and it looks really great on Instagram pictures. Okay, I'm back. Go with the wind, let it go with the rhythm, let it go with the haters who don't care about winning. What up? Pop it off, get back to when I was soft. You were bitching and never. Okay, so look number three is these really cool beige top shop trousers and paired with my Adidas Ultra Boost trainers again, and this really snug merino wool sweater from HM. And of course the trousers are women's, but they're really cool, like they're super comfy around this area. They don't show anything from the back, if that's what you guys are worried about, or even from the front for that matter. 
it's really cool, just really comfy, and just kicks into that leisure trend that's happening at the moment. And it's just super casual, and I feel like the fabric that's made in paired with this kind of satin, burgundy, and black detail just make it have that touch of expensive that you want to have in your pieces and doesn't pair it to traditional tracks. And honestly, I've worn these trousers to work paired with really cool jackets and it just flies. It's all about how you pair things together. So I'm going to pair this with one of my favorite babies from my closet. It is this fantastic, fantastic um, Valentino coat. Now, just give me a moment while I put it on and you be the judge. It doesn't even matter. Drinks up in my bladder. I'm killing it. I Guys, how thick is that? How hot is that? Tell me it is not just the most opulent, chic look that you've ever seen. Like, it is so cute and just so sophisticated. Fantastic jacket. And I just had to buy it. Um, it is so beautiful. It just suits everything. You could wear this with like booty shorts and it's gonna look good. And of course, it's from one of their earlier resort collections and it's a women's wear coat. But look how great it is from the shoulders, from the side, from the cut. I think the only time you do notice it, um, notice a little bit of the shape is when you try to button it. See, it's a bit big for me, but when I stand um, in this way, the shape kind of flares out and makes it look a little bit like a dress, but it's something that's hardly noticeable and it's really cute. It obviously comes with this kind of belt that you can pair it with and while I'm traditionally a fan of um, you know cinching things, <laughs> cinching things in, I think when you use this it tends to look more like a dress so I never use it. So it's all about what you personally bring to your outfit. So let's toss that and pair this look with some really cool stuff. Fucking stop me boxing out these hoes like Rocky. Tell me slow down, make me cocky. Cause I'm too fast for these shoddies. I just watch some work in Marty for a hobby. Do finances in the lobby. Gotta balance out my spending cause I'm on a budget. Hey guys, so this is the last look in the series. And it's a head to toe Forever 21 look, Forever 21 trousers, Forever 21 jacket, both from Women's Wear section. And of course, paired with my favorite loafer of the season, the Gucci loafer. I absolutely love it. And again, this is a classic example of how you can just pick up things from whichever section you want to and just make it work. I mean, I think typically with suits, you usually have an issue with the shoulder. And while I would traditionally like a little bit more structure, I think this looks really good. Hit up the Christmas party and be the bitch that everybody knows you are. I mean, who can just not strike up a conversation with you in this kind of look? Like, it's hot. But the moment doesn't live, it just exists in my head. Knowing all the thoughts are dead, dead links to a thread that was never meant to be any more than a shred. Wasn't mean to be a thing that wanted all of what you see. Much for joining me on this edition of Life and Other Stories, guys. And I hope you've learned something today. Gender should not be a constraint, it should just be explored and it should be something that makes you happy, whether you're a man, woman, transgender, intersex, gender neutral, gender fluid, whatever it is, fashion is there to help you. Fashion should be something that aids you in your journey towards self expression and not something that constrains that. So, next time you're shopping, make sure to just challenge yourself and have a good time. Peace out, guys. You were bitching and never get around like it's another spot. But I'm sorry, give it back to Wamani.